guess what y'all hey a couple of weeks ago i came out with my chili recipe thinking that fall was in the air and hey the weather man faked me out with just one day of cool weather hey now the temperature's still back in the 90s hey but the calendar tells me that fall is here so you know what that means y'all you see my I got me a chuck rope that three pound chuck rope that I cut up into chunks. As you can see, looking good. Got the good marbling on it. And you know what we're about to do because you clicked on that title. Hey, we're about to get into that beef stew, y'all. Now I know officially that fall is here, y'all. All right, slap on your gloves. Grab your tools of choice. And hey, meet me in the kitchen, y'all. That's right. I want to welcome you back to my channel. I am your man. Keep a cup, can cook. And hey, like I said already, beef stew. Hey, when you see that beef stew on deck, you know that fall is here. And hey, get ready for an array of fall dishes, y'all. We talking comfort level 101, y'all. Hold on, y'all. One second. Ah, yeah, felt like a rumbling just a little bit there, y'all. But I got my got my pot right here, y'all. I got it on a medium medium high temp right now. It's just heating on up right now. But what what, what I got right here in this bottle right here is some avocado oil. Oh man, I'm, I'm so excited, y'all, to bring these recipes to you. Stand by, y'all. Stay tuned to your man. We gonna hit hit this pot up with some avocado oil. Just want enough to coat the surface of your of your pot or your skillet, whatever you you want to do, cause you you do not want to skip this step of searing off your meat, y'all. And if you have to do it in batches, then do it in batches, but don't skip this step. Now, what I did do, hey, about 40 minutes ahead of time, I took my meat out the fridge. I see my smoke level is coming up, and that's good. You know, avocado oil has a high smoke point. But I took it out the fridge to get it to room temperature. And at that time, what I did is went on ahead and put my salt on there. Get that salt liberally, put it on there. Remember, we're talking three pounds of meat now. And then just allow that salt to penetrate your meat, y'all. Yeah. And that's what you want to do. Now, what we're going to do, just going to go ahead and lay these bad boys in there. And give them some elbow room. Don't allow them to touch one another. So we want to get a good sear on them. We want a good sear on all sides. Ah oh, yeah. Hey, I am so pumped up that fall is in the air for real now because the calendar says. So what we're going to do, we're going to sear this meat off on all sides. Remember, we're going to end up doing it in two batches. But beef stew is where we at today, y'all. I am your mate. Come on. Keep the cup get cooked. You saw me sear off meat before. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, when you're giving your meat, just that chuck roll, remember that, y'all. Enough ample time to get brown. Just want to remove them. Sit them on the pan. We're going to sit them off to the side and let them rest a little bit till we call for them back later. You already know the grill. You already know. But that's, that's a step you do not want to... Hey, even if you're cooking it in a crock pot, y'all, you still want to sear your meat off first. Still want to sear that meat off. See all them yum yum down at the bottom of that right there? Hey, that's all flavor, y'all. You don't want to forget that. Hit it up with a, another teaspoon of avocado oil. That's just to cool the pot down just a little bit, y'all. All right, we're going to go in with a, a cup of diced onion.
Now, that's looking good. Yeah, we're gonna just let it sit there and rest. Got my diced onion in there. We're gonna hit it up with just a pinch of kosher salt to help it release this water. And the acidity of the, from the onion is gonna to help to get some of these yummy yums off the bottom of, the, of, of your skillet. Pot, whatever you're cooking it in. See what I'm saying? Alright, when you're giving your onion just a tad bit head start and it's deglazed some of the bottom of your skillet, we're gonna go in with some garlic right here, y'all. I'm not sure how much garlic that I chopped up. I just was chopping away, y'all. Yeah. But you can chop up as much as you want. It's your preference. I love garlic. You might not like it as much as I do. Are you listening to me? Okay, now what we want to do, I got me some tomato paste right here, y'all. Yeah. We're going to go in with about two good tablespoons of it. Two heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. And what we want to do is get that fried in there. Let the heat up. Go ahead and fry this tomato paste. Oh man, you can just smell it right now, y'all. It gives it a deeper taste, a deeper body. Oh man, rich. Then just go ahead and incorporate it at the same time it's still frying up. Now what I want to do is hit it up with a couple tablespoons of all-purpose flour, y'all. Yeah. It's going to help to thicken up the gravy as well. Just want to cook off that raw flour taste. Make sure none of that white powder Keep it through. Give it a minute or so. Don't take very long when you're on the medium high flame, y'all. Oh man, I can't wait. Man, I'm actually, my mouth is watering up. I'm looking forward to this beef stew. Already, y'all. Already. I'm gonna hit it up with a little bit of. W sauce. It's also going to help to deglaze. And that's the end of that W sauce bottle. That was like a good tablespoon. Then we're going in with some red wine, y'all. Cup of red wine. I'm gonna bump my temperature up to a high flame. It's gonna help to deglaze the rest of the bottom of the pot. We're gonna go ahead and get this to a nice little simmer. It's gonna reduce down and cook the alcohol off of it, y'all. We're gonna give that a few minutes to allow it to do what it's gonna do. When you have allowed your, that wine to cook down at least halfway, 
is looking good. Hey, it's looking rich right here, y'all. I'm loving it, y'all. I'm loving it. What we gonna do? I got me a little bit of beef bouillon. We gonna beef that. We gonna amp up the beef flavor in it. I seem to be going out on a lot of things today, huh? That's okay. Go hit it up with a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Then we're gonna introduce our meat back to it, yeah. That's right, we want any accumulated juices as well. Don't skip it, y'all. Absolutely. Now, right here, I got me a bouquet of rosemary, thyme, and a couple of, and a few bay leaves up in there, y'all. Then I got me a whole can, 14 ounce, whole tomatoes. I like to add tomatoes to mine, y'all. You might not like that. Then I got me some beef broth right here, y'all. This whole, this is three cups right here. I'm gonna hit it up with some fresh parsley for another pop of freshness. Yeah, I'm going to put my veil on. I'm going to pop this veil on. Remember, we're still on the high flame. Now, when the temperature comes up to a nice little boil, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce it down to a medium low, to a medium low flame, y'all. Yeah. And then we're going to just let this go ahead and do a nice little rolling simmer for about uh, two hours. How about that? Periodically, I'm going to come in and I'm going to stir it around a few minutes. And hey, then we're going to get ready for the Miroquois and the potatoes. Hey, y'all already know what I'm talking about when I say Miroquois, but if you don't, that means you're new to my channel. And I'm going to need you, first of all, give me the thumbs up on this video and hit that subscribe button for me, y'all. And share this video. Hey, and let them know it's fall. Fall. And get ready. Because your man keep a cup can cook is coming with an arsenal of recipes i'll be back y'all all right my youtube fam hey remember that mirror quad that i spoke about before we took the little hiatus and allowed this bad boy to do what it had to do hey this bad boy been going for exactly one hour y'all and i'm telling you the smell that's in the house Absolutely amazing, y'all. Now these tomatoes, these whole tomatoes, they will bust down, but if you want to, you can put your flat edge and bust them down if you want, but they're gonna bust down anyway. So now it's time to add that Miroquois plus the potatoes, y'all. And y'all know what that Miroquois is? That's right. We got us some pearl onions right here, y'all. We ain't playing, we ain't playing. Then I got me some carrot, I mean carrots and celery right here, y'all. That's that Miroquois. We 
might as well go on in with those potatoes too, because we're going in with the potatoes as well. That's going to help to thicken up this, this gravy as well. We're going to give it a nice little stir. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. It ain't even done yet. I'm just so ready, though. I'm just so ready. Okay, now, what we gonna do, we just gonna pop that veil right back on after we give it a nice little stir around. And we're gonna continue to let the heat do its job. That's right, job. Cause I got a job to do too. Are you listening to me? All right, but y'all already know what's on deck. We got that beef stew and it's brewing, y'all. All right, now, give me the thumbs up if you're liking this video. If you're new to my channel, I want to say thank you and welcome to it, y'all. You came at a great time, y'all. Fall is here. This the first dish of the season of fall. Stay tuned, y'all. You know what fall brings. Thanksgiving. I see it. It's on the horizon. I am your man. Keep a cup can cook. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, my YouTube fam. Hey, welcome back. Hey, I'm about to reveal this bad boy, but we ain't finished yet, y'all. We're about two, we're about 10 minutes, I'm sorry, from two hours. on real time. But we'll pop that veil off. Give it a nice little stir, y'all. Can you look? Man, y'all better be looking at that. But I see this bouquet. I wanna bring it on out of here. Let me get this bouquet on now. It'll serve this purpose did a great job. I could smell everything about it. My kitchen is smelling lovely. I got a couple of bay leaves that got loose in there. We're going to get those out of there too. Absolutely. If anything else seemed to be rolling around. All right, so what we gonna do? Oh man, look at that, y'all. Are you looking at what I'm looking at? Look at the color profile. Everything is intact. Let's check out the tenderness. Let's check out the tenderness. We got these potatoes right here. Giving it the toothpick test right here, y'all. Look how easy it goes through, y'all. Look how easy it goes through. Then we got the hunk of meat. Are you listening to me? Can you see what I'm seeing? Can you see what I'm seeing? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Come on. Let's get with it, y'all. What we about to do in these last 10 minutes, something that I like to do. Got me some frozen peas right here, y'all. We're gonna introduce them. Just a little bit. That was probably about one ounce. It's for those people that don't like peas. But it gives, it, look at that pop of color that it gives, though. Come on now. Come on now. Get with your man. Keep a cup can cook now. Keep a cup can cook. All right, we're gonna put the veil back on. Actually, for these last 10 minutes, we're gonna leave the veil off. Cause what it's gonna do, it's gonna help to thicken the sauce, the gravy, oh, whatever you wanna call it. Oh man, I can't wait y'all to get into the plating. Come on now, I am your man. 
<laughs> All right, my fam. Hey, if you've been enjoying this video like I have, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and give me that thumbs up. We are ready to go ahead and get this, this last little stir around, but we ready for the plating, y'all. It's been exactly two hours, y'all. Real time. And we gonna go ahead and get, oh my goodness, y'all. Are you looking at what I'm looking at? Are you looking at what I'm looking at? Come on, y'all. Get in that comment section. Let me know what you think about it right, right now. We're gonna move it off to the side. Matter of fact, let's cut the let's cut the heat off. Cut the fire off of that bad boy. Cause I gotta bring my plate in here. Come on, y'all. You see that cornbread muffin? But I got a question. Even before I plate this bad boy up, do we do it with cornbread muffins? Or we do it with grand biscuits, y'all? Which one sops up the best? Cornbread muffin or grand biscuits? Let me know. Let me know. Hit me up. Oh my goodness, y'all. My goodness. Do you see what I see? We're going to push this off the camera. It has done its job. I may want to go ahead and get me because this potato been looking at me ever since. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that up with that potato right there that's been looking at me. I don't know what it's been looking at me for, but I figured he wanted to come to the party. So who am I to deprive him from coming to the party? All right, y'all. Come on, y'all. Get what you may. That ain't nothing but a bowl of loveliness, a bowl of comfort. A bowl that speaks the word fall. Come on, y'all. I don't even know if I can get this a taste test or not. Because it's piping hot. You saw me. But let's let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Get one of these carrots real quick. Mm. Mm. The tenderness. But you see the integrity of it still, right? That's how you gotta do it, y'all. Oh man, I'm scared of this. It's gonna burn me. Mm. Oh my goodness. And y'all already saw the meat. Y'all see it right now. Matter of fact, let me, let me. Let me get it with my tongue, so you just know. So you just know how tender it really is. Can you see what I'm talking about? Come on, y'all. <laughs> man, I'm tired of fat lipping. Y'all already know what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do. I'm gonna bring this over to the side just a little bit because I gotta need a little room for that right there. And I'm gonna take all of this to the next room, y'all. I'm gonna devour it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode, y'all. The first one of fall. Beef stew. And I'm out of here, y'all. Bye.